Dumplings and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taste testing some vegan candy or sweets I guess if you're in the UK which I am so I don't know why I didn't say sweets. I have loads of vegan candy we're gonna try it see what's a hit see what's a miss and I know what you're thinking there'll be people out there that'll be like okay I get that vegans don't eat meat but what the heck is wrong with candy? There is no meat in candy. So vegans don't just not eat meat, they also don't eat anything that comes from an animal. And unbeknownst to some, there's a lot of nasty hidden animal products in candy. For example, you know like those um, shiny sweets you get? They have a resin on it, and that resin is actually shellac. And where does shellac come from? It's the secretions of the lac beetle. The lac beetle. Mm-hmm. Let that digest, or rather, don't let that digest, because that's gross. Yeah, you're eating the secretions of a lac beetle. And talking of beetles, everyone knows about the red food colouring, cochineal or carmine. Again, this is crushed beetles. I don't know about you, I don't want to eat crushed beetles. And then, if that wasn't bad enough, there is our old nemesis, gelatine. Oh, and where does gelatine come from? Only the boiled down bones and cartilage of dead animals. Now, my stomach is not a graveyard. I don't want that in me. So, we're gonna eat some vegan candy. I have loads. So much. Look, we have this. We have fudge. We have some strawberry things. We have the Vigo. Lollipops. Wagon wheels. I don't know. Carrot cake raspberry things protein we we have so much now i don't normally eat refined sugar i feel like i maybe have it now and again but normally like if it's a celebration or something like that so hence the let's party bitches um but i'm gonna try it also sugar tends to make me kind of hyper if you've been following me for a while you will remember the incident when I went to watch bootleg Beatles and the Beatles are my favorite so I was already high like listening to the Beatles then I decided to eat some of this stuff the magic fudge and I was even higher and then I decided to go and live stream I spoke so fast I'm surprised anyone even understood anything that I said the first thing I want to taste because I already know I love it. I'm gonna taste this dairy-free fudge. It is delicious, by the way, but yeah. This is what it looks like. I don't think this camera will even focus, but it's like little fudgy bites. I think the main ingredient is, yeah, sugar. So, um, it is so good. I feel happy already. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm. it's like creamy and sugary and and i want another piece um mm -mm -mm. crumbly creamy dreamy velvety bites i would agree with that 10 out of 10 recommend mm -mm -mm. that's so good oh my gosh if you can hear a fan in the background i apologize we're having a heat wave here in england and I can't cope, trying not to die, so please let me live. Um, what should we try now? Um, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's have a look at this. This is, what even is this? Gregory's Tree. That sounds rude, but okay. It's a double fruit twist. Well, let's open it up and give it a try. Oh. Oh. Ew. Ew, it's slimy. Ew. It's like one of those raspberry twisty sticks. But it's really slimy. Why is it slimy? Mm. The texture's odd. Ew. Mm, I don't know. The flavor's like okay, but it has like something weird about it. Hold on. Oh, it's just slimy. Mm. No. 
not a big fan um no it's okay but i i literally wouldn't eat that again i feel like i need to cleanse my palette hmm i know ice cream Ta -da! here we have not just ice cream but jelly now this jelly i actually got from a vegan festival guess it's orange flavor look educated guess orange flavor um it actually came with a warning on the packet like saying has adverse reactions in kids or something like i think it's literally e numbers and then this ice cream is brand new out it is coconut and passion fruit so it's made with coconuts ofs so let's give it a try i don't know what this is gonna taste like okay Ew. That is coconutty. Now, I know you're probably laughing. Yeah, it's made of coconut, but a lot of things are made from coconut. Like, I eat vegan cheese that's made from coconut, but it don't taste like coconut. This really tastes like coconut. Can't taste any passion fruit yet. Let's see if I can find a bit of the swirly part. Hold on. Mmm. I don't know i think i prefer like the soya ice cream better than the coconut but if you like coconut then you're probably gonna love this let's try the jelly oh gosh look at it <gasps> look at that jelly i put this in the fridge earlier it said it took an hour but it's had about three and it still feels a little wibbly but i don't know i'm pretty impressed i think that was my fault though i literally don't know what 350 milliliters is so i just poured hot water and like half a packet in and just hope for the best so here we go mm. Mm. so the texture is spot on you literally don't have to bite you just swallow <laughs> wow um so okay yeah <laughs> but i think i didn't add enough because it tastes of nothing Mm. it tastes of coldness and because i'm so hot that's like really refreshing but it has no taste so i think that's my fault but i would recommend it um i wonder how off my tits i'm gonna be at the end of this but yeah mm. the ice cream though um nah wouldn't have it again wouldn't have it again so what should we try now um let's try these bad boys so these are candy kittens they are what are they um mm, gourmet sweets made in london obviously they're vegan a gummy strawberry chewy thing so let's put this uh kitten in our mouth how do we do this oh okay well instantly there's like a smell Whew. that knocks you for six okay they're actually super cute though look they're like the shape of a little kitten how cute is that they're chewy They're really chewy um they taste they taste all right you know they taste like a gummy chewy sweet so mm, tastes okay oh okay hold on tastes a little bit sour but not too much i wonder if the i think yeah i think the blueberry ones are more sour i've had these before but it's just oh hold on i have oh look at these ones they don't want to be separated oh, okay so again same thing try the blueberry one okay you know when it like hits you in the back of your teeth Ooh -hoo. Woo! Okay, we're doing this. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's intense. 
I like it though. Oh, wow. Mmm. Okay. I would recommend these. They're tasty. So, I'd probably give them like an 8 out of 10. Am I meant to be giving these numbers out of 10? I don't know. I just started doing that, but let's go with it. I need a drink. Oh, okay. The next candy. What should we try? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm tempted to try this wagon wheel, but at the same time, my friend sent me it, so I kind of want to save it. What's wrong with me? Don't know. Um, let's go for one of these. I've never had a vegan lollipop before. Apparently they're sugar free. Wait, sugar free, gelatin free, gluten free. No artificial colors or flavorings. So what the heck's in them? Oh, sweetener. Isn't sweetener basically sugar? I don't know. So we have cola and strawberry flavor. <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's go for this. I think this is gonna be cola. Oh, it feels crumbly. Kind of looks how I remember when I was a little kid, little lollipops. So I guess I'll just shove it in. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wait. The first look kind of tastes like cola, but then it tasted a bit weird, so I'm gonna go in for another suck. <laughs> That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like wheat cola. You know when you get like knockoff cola, like the cheap sort of Poundland cola? Do Poundland do cola? I don't know. Um, hmm. I still want to suck it though. Um, yeah. I like it. But we have these little, oh, what even are these protein balls? I don't want to try them. They look like little poops. Sorry, but yeah. Let's try these. These little things which I've already ripped the top off. Called nibble protein bites. Lemon and coconut. Our favorite coconut. I actually don't mind coconut, but that ice cream, ugh. I really didn't like that ice cream. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, they kind of look like this. They have little bits of coconut which is falling off. Whoa. Oh, oh. They smell like washing up liquid, so yeah. Bottoms up. Ah. Uh, nope. Mm-mm. Oh my god. No. Mm -mm. I said they smell oh uh whew. why does water make it worse? Mm. Oh gross, gross, gross. I said they smelt like washing up liquid. They literally tasted like washing up liquid. And then when I drank the water, it's like I was drinking washing up water. Nibbly bites? No. You're a big no. Sorry if you like washing up liquid. Maybe you'll like them. I feel like we should try one more. And let's try this. Naked. Calm down. Naked cherry flavor infused raisins. Now, does raisins count as candy? I mean, they're like dried up grapes, right? Right? Grapes. Yeah. So technically fruit. Um I guess fruit is the original candy. So yeah. On the back, can you see it has these little characters? A little cherry and like a little bunch of grapes. And then the cherry saying to the grape, let's make beautiful raisins together. Okay. But then the grapes go, oh Rex. Why is a cherry called Rex? I don't understand it. Why? Now, I have tried naked bars. They're like kind of made out of dates or something like that. I found them absolutely vile, so I'm a bit like, hmm, am I gonna like this? Don't know. Let's try it. Wow, okay. They just look like raisins. They smell like. <coughs> they 
they smell like alcohol? There's no alcohol in this. I don't drink. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What do we have? Where's the ingredients? What the heck? Oh. You know what? The ingredients. Sun-dried raisins, 95%. Citric acid. And a hint of natural flavouring. That's it. So where's the cherry? Do I really need to show you what a raisin looks like? It looks like this, but... This is a cherry infused raisin. That's gross. <laughs> oh, hold on. No, no. It just tastes like a raisin, or maybe like a hint of cherry, which would make sense. But I mean, I like raisins like in things, but just to eat them by themselves. No. I don't know like I wouldn't go out my way to buy these but maybe like if you had a little kid or uh, you know wanting to give them a kind of like healthier snack a raisin's healthy I think so um that might be nice but they kind of just taste like normal raisins it's just like a hint of cherry but they don't wow me wow no I need more fudge. It makes me feel better. So I'm just gonna carry on and eat all this fudge cause my favorite. Out of everything, it's still my favorite. Although actually, these weren't bad. I'd get these again. Yeah. So I feel like we had some hits. For example, the fudge, the lollipops, and then we had some kind of misses such as these and this was a bit just slimy but I guess it's down to your own personal taste so why don't you go out try some vegan candy see what you think I mean it's better than eating bugs but before we finish I feel like we should just make a mountain of stuff like one of everything in it chuck some fudge in chuck some sweets Ugh. Here we go, here we go. This slimy thing. And let's top it with some raisins because I'm not a complete monster. Okay. Let's try it. Mmm. Great. Doesn't this look delicious? Oh. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you're subscribed, click the little bell icon so you get a notification as well. I hope you go out and try some vegan candy for yourself. Let me know in the comments what is your favourite vegan candy and I will see you next time. Bye!